All right, cool. What are you doing this time? Well, Gary, have you ever heard of cow bingo? No. What, what if I said yes? No. Like, no. It's it's a real thing that I just recently learned about, and it's an idea that I'm fascinated with. Uh, this is something that is done in rural towns where a grid is drawn, um, and it is marked off. So you have A1, A2, A3, etc. You release... I know what a grid is. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. You release you release a cow and people place bets on uh where it disgorges its payload. So you're oh, betting okay. on where this cow is going to uh so that's pretty gross. Um Die. and since we're since we are since yeah. we're in a city, I figured it'd be easier uh to play cat bingo. Okay. So you, you when when you first brought up cow bingo, I thought it was gonna be like um and and we can save this for after the the title thing, but like those farmer only commercials where a bunch of them are for, from the perspective of cows and horses <laughs> who like really want their owners to get laid. <laughs> Just like Well, I mean if turnabout is fair play, you've got a lot of uh farmers who are very husbandry. interested. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, it's 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 okay. it's the one way they know to interact with humans. But yeah, no, I just I just uh, went went around to a lot of porches, um, a lot of backyards, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of living rooms and stuff. Just grabbed a bunch of cats, put them in a box, um, and we're just going to see. Uh, I don't know where one coughs up a, a, a hairball, maybe. I don't oh, know. Okay. And if we uh, if, if, if 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 it's ambiguous, we've got a judge who can come along. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's uh let let's go. Come on. Okay. Uh, you know, gonna, gonna gonna turn this crank and open up the cat box and okay yeah oh, they, cat. this is a dizzy fella yeah <laughs> hey, I, I've actually uh, I've got I've got music for this because of uh, what I was doing before we started recording okay oh it's only coming through my headphones never mind <laughs> <laughs> hey 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 Gary was it cool for cats by Squeeze I uh, know uh, <laughs> I wish it was it was. I, I found a video of a cat escaping from a cat shelter, and it played circus music over it as if that cat was not going to have a very hard life. Um, okay, so uh, oh, the cat—the cat's done it, but it's kind of difficult. Like it's—it it's looks like, like it's, it's between. It's like right on the line. Um, right on the line. We should probably call in our, our guest judge. Yeah, Carolyn. Uh, what do you think? Hello, I'm ready to judge this cat. Uh, Ten points. Oh, it landed on. But where's the vomit? <laughs> oh, uh, that looks like a D squared. Ooh. Mm. Uh, let me uh, let me let me look up what that corresponds to. Uh, rockin' okay. cats. Rockin' cats. <laughs> yes. It's time for me to check in with my bookie. Get a big payday. A real big payday. Ooh, the biggest payday. Is the your biggest... bookie a gangster dog? Uh, he's uh, <laughs> he might be uh, maybe from the waist down. I've only seen him through one of those cages. Ooh, wow. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he's got that that visor, that bookie visor, that crime visor <laughs> that oh, people yeah. wear. The, you mean uh, you mean like the, the 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 clear the clear green one for counting cash? Yeah, 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 and counting bullets. As they go <laughs> into <laughs> stooges, <laughs> um, <laughs> we deal in lead. Yeah. So I'm Gary Butterfield. I'm Cole Ross. Uh, and I am Carolyn Maine. Hello. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining us on Abject Suffering, the show where we Absolutely. play bad games so you don't have to. <laughs> I'm excited. Yay. Um, <laughs> Carolyn, uh, tell people who are listening uh, who you are and what you do. Comprehensively. Start at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, so the whole thing. No. Um, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> right. I'm a Portland cartoonist, and I have a couple of podcasts, one of which we review vintage television, a very special episode, another mm-hmm. of which is Pitch Please, where we pitch movies based on a screenplay that you have to make in one minute, and that's based on a deck of 53 illustrated movie cliches, cards mm-hmm. that I have created. So it's really fun. Mm-hmm. It's like a game show, cinematic, improv. Good time. Nice. Yeah. Good, good title, a- too. It, it's, it's, a, it's a great title. I, I've I've got a I back that Kickstarter. I have um, oh, a copy of that, but uh, my I, I don't have a group 
I haven't oh, played blind. it yet. I just have, I have two decks, but I haven't done anything with it. Oh, we so. gotta break those in for you. Yeah, it's, I, it's uh, not quite the, so it's kind of plays like Cards Against Humanity, but more work, right? Like you do have to make a movie, but it's just fun for 10 times, so. Oh, you actually have to make the movie? Well, no. <laughs> That's a you lot. Make, I... Quote, make the movie, okay. right? Like yeah. I yeah. see it in vivid colors when people pitch. Just imagine Muppets doing whatever your friends say. It's great. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't always get your standard gamer group to do it. I'll go any day to show my own game in Portland because yeah. it's really fun. I still like it. I will, I will make, I will make a sell to them. Um, it's something, yeah, I've, I've been, I've wanted to for, for quite, quite some time. Um, yeah, and a tip and, is you can bust it out in a bar when you're already hanging out, but you want to like structure people just one round, mm. put it in your pocket, drop it on them any old day mm -hmm. or other people at bars. Yeah. yeah just yeah. strangers. Yeah. Slide yeah. it on over under a coaster. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I met you because, uh, I was on your previous podcast. Right. Um, about Saved by the Bell. Yes. That our mutual friend Ryan, uh, is how I met, uh, that, that group. Yeah. Met you guys, yeah. Ryan's great. He, uh, of course did a whole series before we reviewed Saved by the Bell together where he reviewed Full House. So mm. that kind of started mm. our podcast journey. <laughs> Um, yeah, Ryan's a Portland cartoonist, great dude. And yeah, which episode were you on? I can't taste uh, it. They were at the mall trying to get, I oh, think, yeah. you two tickets. Yes, yes, that happened. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it so weird how those, those kids love you two? And then 20 <laughs> years later, the kid from Taken uh, went and got Taken in order to get, and like the fake, the cover story was, I'm going to go follow you two on tour. <laughs> what? I didn't see Taken, dang. Uh, you, you, you gotta see Taken. You'll I never know. guess what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty lucky that you got to see an episode that wasn't in Bayside of Saved by the Bell. That's a rarity. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I, I felt so blessed to hang out with those, those nincompoops. <laughs> Not the, on the podcast, the people on the, the show. Uh, fair right. enough. No, that's yeah, fine. They, yeah, they, they, <laughs> those well-coiffed um, nincompoops. Mm. Yeah, yeah those, those photogenic monsters. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's accurate. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have yeah. watched the whole series. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got us. Um yeah, and so I've been, I've wanted to have you on the show for a long time. Oh, yay. Uh, and, and we asked you what game to pick and you chose the Rocking Cats. Because no one else has talked about Rocking Cats. Even my sisters, when I rented it as a kid, they're just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> this premise is ridiculous. <laughs> That's a you game. You're on your own. <sighs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Cats of anything are afraid of loud music. Yeah. If anything, if anything, they would be Brian Eno's ambient cats. <laughs> cats for airports, volume two. Oh my I'm gosh. glad you already mentioned the squeeze because I do feel like this whole game is a callback to ska. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. The, these are definitely some ska cats. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they are definitely zoot suit riding, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw, throw back a warm bottle. It. Throw back a warm saucer of milk. <laughs> <laughs> The first title for this was Skankin' Cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pick it up at your local Target. The, uh, the, um, the, the main one does look like uh, Heathcliff's, you know, rude boy cousin or something yeah, like that. Totally yeah. accurate. Yep. Uh, or, or not, uh, the Cadillac Cats. Because mm. oh. there's a lot of crossover there, right? Like that 50s culture. Right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that yeah. they had cars in the junkyard. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they were working cars. Cool I, think it fl I think it flew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it was a hover car. I can't remember exactly, but I think that the Cadillac cats had a hover car, but I could be wrong about that. Dang. <laughs> yeah. I, I, if that was the case, I assure you it's because animating wheels is hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they share their hover technology? <laughs> with, with humanity yeah, yeah. well it's Absolutely. like it's no, like that no, thought no, experiment yeah. where where toast always lands butter butter side down and cats always land on their feet so mm -hmm. you put you put a piece of butter toast on the back of a cat and it'll oscillate in midair <laughs> oh or they just they just have the back of a bunch of cats strapped to the bottom of their cadillac oh my gosh <laughs> oh we figured it out <laughs> they are monsters know. <laughs> like, are they taking advantage of some kind of uh, goofy and Pluto kind of thing? Are they are there cats with less mm. sentience that they just feel they feel fine turning into turning into draft animals? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, think it's ethical at all. No, no. they don't feel fine. <laughs> they Unionize <don't>. tire cats. <laughs> <laughs> Rise up. Yeah. Rise. Uh, Carolyn, what drew you to the rocking cats? 
Um, good question. So I we did like have an NES as a kid. It was very exciting, you know, and we would occasionally on weekends get like get a little extra money, go rent whatever from the store. So it must have been the cover, but uh mm. <laughs> you don't know what that is that didn't come with my replay here, so I can't remember, <laughs> but probably a cat in a hat looking fly as fuck <laughs> in front of a cityscape, like ready to skank it out all night. <laughs> it was it was that sky, it was that Rudy. Dude, dude, uh, yeah, appeal. yeah. Mm-hmm. Rudy can't fail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really uh, like this level of, at least at the time as a kid, more the animatronic furry. It's just an animal, but he is, still can do crimes, you know, mm-hmm. like that reality. <laughs> I, I, I like my animals with wild cards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I hate about pets? How predictable they are. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish that, I wish my routine was constantly disrupted. <laughs> Go do like, something. Go out yeah, there, may- yeah. Maybe one day it does a crime. Maybe one day it starts a business. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably a criminal business, but mm. Ooh. those can yeah. be very lucrative. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I get nothing. <laughs> um, cool, cool. Did you know about this game? Absolutely not. You sent me the title, and I had to, I had to clarify. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but going back just a little bit, Carolyn, I, I, I like the way you phrased that. Where even your siblings uh, were, were yeah. like not into this. The way that I envisioned yeah. that was they, like they, they, they are they've see they've uh, sworn themselves to secrecy. Like we don't acknowledge the rock the rock and cats days. <laughs> no one else would get excited about it. I'm also the youngest, so like, um, oh. I was easily the dorkiest, you know. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe not dorkiest, but at least less the least predictable taste. They yeah. knew when to cut bait for me and my mm. business. Yeah. It was so pre- finally today, we're going to talk about rocking cats, me and people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're proud to be a consolation prize on on you not be able to share this with your family, and instead. <laughs> Uh, with, with a friendly acquaintance and a stranger. Hi. Right? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. No, so Who I, needs loved ones? Yeah, yeah. So I never heard about this. Um, I was yeah. excited to find out about it because this era of NES, you know, well after the Super Nintendo and 16-bit consoles came out, there's always a lot of, like, kind of interesting, cool stuff that happens here. Um, and this, yeah. the, the, this uh, I think, qualifies for that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I, uh, I I played this as a kid Ooh, and yeah. also had very fond memories of it um, and probably rented by its cover, which I'm looking at now, yeah. which is the, the titular rocking cat, like standing on the dog's head. <laughs> uh, but the article I'm looking at also tells me that in Japan, this was called the, the NY Yankees. Recording kind of goofed up there. Yeah. Okay, gonna, 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 gonna read. Uh, hey, Gary, can you, um, can, can, can you re- restart with, I'm um, on the article that I'm looking at here? Yes. And the article I'm looking at here, uh, it shows the cover. So it's got uh, the titular cap. He's got his gun. He's standing on yeah. top of the dog. He's looking for something. He's he's oh. he's, he's, he's he's doing some cartography or something. He and looks then, like a detective. He's, he's got, yeah, he's got he's a like, sextant out. He's doing a little bit of like <laughs> <laughs> navigating by the stars. Yeah. <laughs> Pre- presumably, if, if he's looking for something, though, presumably it's the dog he's standing on, and that's kind of beautiful. <laughs> that, that's that's a successory right there, like. <laughs> What you're looking for is probably right under your feet. Bam, target, <laughs> wine mom section. You did it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it also shows the Japanese cover, which this game was called the New York Yankees. N- Yankees. Like Nyan, yeah. n- like the like the onomatopoeia for the sound a cat makes in Japan. Yes. Oh, so they put the word Yankee next to the word meow, basically. Yeah. Yes, it's a portmanteau see. there. But 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 uh-huh. I have no I have no idea how to pronounce that because if I say Yankees, like nobody ever says Nyan. Like it's, it's not Nyan <laughs> cat who flies through <laughs> space with pop tarts. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's an awkward word. Yeah. Yankees. <laughs> uh, so, and he also appears to have some kind of hula hoop. In that version as well. Like, there's some kind of weird circle or halo around his waist drawn around the entire thing. What? Weird. We didn't get a hoop? No. <laughs> this, this game is certifiably hoop-free. Holy jeez. Uh, dislike. Another um, unnecessary NES censorship for America. <laughs> yeah, the, you get, get hoops, you get, get those teenage boys start thinking about hoops. Yeah. It moves their hips too much, yeah. like Elvis. You can't Ex- show it. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta, gotta crop it at the waist. Otherwise, they have thoughts. <laughs> Just imagine a bunch of cats walking around with like censored bars around their waist because they're too <laughs> the hips are too shaky. You know? 
Uh, yeah. So. But, uh, I, I liked this game enough when as a kid, when I, um, my very brief stint where I reviewed games and writing for, uh, retro.com that, that I never got paid for, Fun. uh, <laughs> because they're criminals. Um, this was one of the games I reviewed as well. Very so I nice. brought this back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got very far in it and it's hard. Yeah. That's the thing is I remember I could beat channel one as a kid. And I gave mm-hmm. it a college try, and I got to the boss upon this review, but I, like, don't have the patience anymore to play a game that kind of is this hard. Super. How far did you, uh, so that's, that's about how far I got this replay, and I think when I reviewed it, I got, yeah. like, at least to the boss of most of the levels, cause you can, you can go in different order. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, so that's, that's, that's about how rough, rough, rough I, got, I got this time. Uh, Cole, how far did you get when you played? Um, I got up to, I believe it's the boss of Channel One, the, uh, the yeah. big, the big, uh, chicken that shoots eggs at you. Yep. Yeah, Gross. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the subway for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, only in, only in the Yankees. <laughs> only with the Yankees. Those damn uh, Yankees. Yeah, got, 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 got a subway series going on between the, the Yankees and the Meowths. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the meow. It's cool. Yeah. How, how long you had that in your back pocket? I don't know, like two seconds there. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's the, uh, not bad. Um. <laughs> yeah, but I got to that chicken who was firing eggs at me and, uh, you know, it was, it was fine. I, I, I think that I gotten what I was going to get out of it, but I could not uh, defend myself from those eggs because you cannot punch the projectiles out of the air. Yeah, mm-hmm. some things you can't punch. Uh, I only figured out after I tried to play a channel, I failed at a boss. It was fine or whatever. But then you get these sacks of money the whole time, right? Did you guys spend it at the bonus station? No. Mm-hmm. Yes oh, yeah. and no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there was that, there's pipe throw, the game pipe throw that costs 100 cat dollars <laughs> <laughs> of meow knee, <laughs> meow money. <laughs> yep. And so, and so, but I didn't know what the hell was going on because uh, I just used the punch. I didn't use the hold button on the glove. Mm-hmm. Were you guys yeah. using the hold button on that channel one? Yeah, were, were, you, were you talking about, so the power-up you're talking about, I don't think I got it this time, but are you talking about where, when you hold the button and you can grab things? Right, right. Yeah. Because you have the punching glove and you can punch to jump and you can grab on all kinds of scaffoldings. So mm-hmm. it's like fun for a platformer in that regard. But then yeah. you can also, like, hold the ball and throw it. And now I wonder if I could have held that bird's eggs on the subway. You you oh. probably can catch them uh, that way. Yeah, if you hold down the uh, the your, your primary, your B button. Um, you just kind of hold it out. And when you do that, it's really great. It looks like you have just one giant hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, you're just, and you're just, like, walking in, giving everybody, like, a thumbs up. Like, a, a powerful <laughs> thumbs up. Ever the better to pick it up. Pick it up. With. Yeah. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> the, um yeah, I think that's probably the case. That's probably what you're supposed to do to the eggs. Okay, okay, but, yeah. Um, also, something that brought me a lot of joy about this is that this is a grappling hook game, but it articulates yeah. in a very different way because <laughs> you, you you start out stationary and you do like a full circular swing and you, like weirdly your rotational momentum is conserved. So like you do not fly off in a straight line, like you will continue like circling around. So like learning learning how to how to actually go where you want to go is a little bit of a task Mm. yeah i definitely dumped myself right into the pit that i was supposed to be jumping over (laughs) a bunch and you can the other technique you can do is where you can jump and then push off that kind of reminds me of ducktales yeah yeah like you can knock like it's a really i've never really seen something exactly like this as far as a, a method of moving around uh in a nintendo game yeah you know um and it, it's difficult to get your cat to rock in the way that you want them to rock uh, mm-hmm. from time to time. But it is, once you know it, it's really cool. And I, I was doing research on this, and I guess after you beat the um, boss, they're, like, really similar to, like, Hollow Knight. There is a level that is, you know, a uh, like a Masocore platformer, you know, where you have to be a master at this. Hmm. Whoa. Like, yeah, yeah, I want to watch it online. I want to watch someone play it. Like, it's like there's yeah. very few platforms. Um, it's just you have to be constantly swinging. Oh, nice. And stuff. Is that the channel you can't get into yet? And the yeah. little cat in a suit who looks like an evangelical tells you. I think that I think that's um the last boss, but I think this is after that channel. Hmm. Uh, this right. is the cha- yeah, this is the channel where that uh that cat has a near death experience and realizes there's nothing on the other side. Oh shit. <laughs> this, is, this is channel zero. So. Spoilers. Yeah. Yep. E fifty two wrote a song about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> he, he, he saw the throne and it was empty. It just take, yep, takes I, up smoking. Yeah, I saw the face of God and he was crying. Like it was just you know, it's not good. <laughs> Real dark. The, uh, you just, yeah. But again, but it's Atlas, so that that, that is thematically in line with other yeah. stuff they've done. Yeah. This is in the Persona universe. So. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. This is the alternate. It's a. It, it is the Tokyo Jungle. Uh, kind, yes. kind, of, kind of take where, uh, where 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 wildlife has taken over, mm-hmm. and they have picked up the tools of mankind, and mostly just the hats of mankind, <laughs> yeah. and the shoes, and the, the shoes and hats of mankind. Because yeah. there's something weird about a cat just wearing a tie but no other clothes, you know? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> like cats do that in real life. That's you know, but something about adding the hat and the shoes too just makes the cat look nakeder than than normal. No, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're accentuating how the genitals aren't covered, except when yeah. the tie like drapes over it. It's it's when the tie is just up, it's pointing directly at where his genitals would be. <laughs> it's yeah, indicating. it's a real peekaboo situation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like a trunk kinda, tie. I, I, I'm going to get like a big black bold tattoo on my stomach that's just an arrow pointing downward. <laughs> that's what this cat did. <laughs> like you, you should see it when he's skanking. Everything is moving like crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's why you don't want a tattoo that swing. For yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, st- pet him. Um, <laughs> uh, could could you guys uh, pet like a cat with clothes? Like if this guy walked up to you and it was like seemed like just a normal cat, but he was dressed just like this guy, and maybe he was dragging the um, the punch gun, which is the name <laughs> of the grappling hook behind him, and but just seemed like you wanted pets. Would you pet him or would you presume dignity? Does he walk towards me or That's punch jump towards me? <laughs> yeah, I, I had him crawling, dragging it with his teeth. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> but, fine. Yeah, I that. Yeah. If he, come, if he comes to me on all fours, that like yeah, I'll give him, I'll give him pets and scratches. But if he walks up on his hind legs, like that's a that's a fucking grown ass man right there. Like, <laughs> then you gotta go. Yeah. What would you do then? That what would you do in that case? I know you wouldn't pet him, but what would you do to him? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd probably give him directions to where the bus is. <laughs> <Which> is <laughs> yeah, he got a place to be. <laughs> what would you do to this grown ass cat man? What do you do? <laughs> Give him ninety cents and you know tell him where the shelter is. I guess I don't know. <laughs> like, like, aw, yeah. the grown ass cat man shelter. <laughs> yeah, man shelter. <laughs> Bud man shelter. Yeah, <laughs> private eye. <laughs> private eye. Yeah, he must look like a detective. <laughs> he does. He's got that hat, and this is this is another and kind of like a long line of of abject suffering games that, by all outward appearances, seems like it would have been like in support of a cartoon or oh, some other yeah. kind of property. Like this seems like it would be a licensed thing, but no, this is just like Atlas saying, "What if there? What, like, what if a cat could jump?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and thank and thank goodness, yeah. That it, even though I, I the animated series for this, like, like the the opening credits, mm-hmm. right? Like that'd be real good. Yeah. Oh um, man, I want to watch it right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, uh, you know he's got a really bad voice though. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like, probably the Bubsy voice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, just, exactly. Hey, have you seen this dog around? He's I gotta get him. Huh? Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We I say fuck because nobody's the boss of me. <laughs> I don't care if I'm on a cartoon. <laughs> they didn't even bleep it. It was just a one off with no censorship. Yeah, and then and then just like Max Headroom pops up in the corner like toasty for Mortal Kombat for like one second. <laughs> Goes back under the screen. The uh it's me, Matt Frewer. Encourage you to be a little anarchist, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, yeah. man <laughs> is a good cat the um so we, we we covered like cats and clothes and we covered the tie point to his dick um <laughs> he's he's going to rescue his girlfriend in this uh, yeah. which is noble you know that's that's good that's good of him but it does like introduce and it's not like you know, we don't have to camp out on this forever, but it does introduce, like, the fact that these, like, they're in some kind of union, you know? Like, there, there's an implied, like, at least implied kisses are going to happen in this. And one of the things I think about whenever I think about cats kissing uh, is that they don't have proper lips. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're real bad lips is the thing. Yeah, like, thin. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, different. And, and so, like, if these cats, like, let's say our, our rocking cat gets gets his payday. Uh, he's going to kiss and it's mostly going to just be like rubbing two grills of teeth <laughs> together with like a little bit of skin. You know? yeah. Well, maybe they just like 
lick lick each other, you know, from the top uh, to the bottom. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> First date. Yeah, this is how you can tell. You have to make sure that you're lick lick compatible. Yeah, the flavor <laughs> is good. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Texture. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just no. I just kind of picture them just like just like rubbing their nose together, uh, like uh, like all cat kisses or uh, Eskimo kisses. That's way way cuter. I, I, I went I went in a more wholesome direction than than <laughs> licking them tip to toe. <laughs> we all learned a lot about how we feel cats should make out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says a lot like, about we, ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Like there, there there's the the uh, you know the the pretty pretty much human uh, you know. <laughs> like sophomore level sex act way yeah. of cats making out there's uh cole's like cute way and then i the skeleton kisses <laughs> which, is, uh, which is primarily <laughs> imagining the flaps and points just kind of in friction yeah yeah, yeah. and don't kind forget of scrimshaw don't forget full-on tail to taint kissing <laughs> oh legs. sure yeah We're, and then that's a, that's what happens before and or after they walk away and make their tail into a heart Right, right. <laughs> Did you that know? happen at the ending? Did you beat it? No. No, I, I didn't beat it. I just assume that happens. Yeah. I if it doesn't, right. they, they miss the opportunity. <laughs> Even though his tail is not very in play. That's no. That's true. He's got, yeah. one, he's got one of those fluffy, uh, uh, like, Tiny Toons cat tails kind of, kind of yeah. thing going on there, though. It is not necessarily what I would consider to be, like, the canonical cat tail. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is this is fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> this is not cat canon. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, oh man uh carolyn what's the speaking of crime yeah what's the uh what's the the biggest crime you've done that you care to admit on a podcast oh geez huh yeah i put you on the spot there all right well i'll give you my podcast related alleged crime where okay. during the run of saved by the bell reviewed there's a very special episode which is our new podcast but <laughs> there's a very special episode <laughs> in saved by the bell about smoking marijuanos Mm. Okay. Mm. And in some uh, states, marijuanas are more legal right now than others. And so mm -hmm. some of our podcasting partners were Midwestern. So Mm. uh, allegedly, there was a envelope that went out sent from Mr. Belding to the Midwest with some doobie drugs catnip inside of it. (laughs) So, so Belding, this is this is an episode of the show where Belding sent that to the Midwest. <laughs> no, this is what oh. um, happened to facilitate the reviewing of an episode where oh. a man named Johnny Dakota smoked out Zach and I Slater. See. I, oh, I see. For sure. for a second, I was like, I don't remember that much about Mr. Belding. <laughs> uh, I would put it past him because to know Mr. Belding, the only the first fact is that I want you to know. In the opening credits of Save by the Bell, Mr. Belding climbs in Zach Morris's bed and it gives out finger guns. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's in every episode. It's in canon. That is that is dark. It is always there reminding you. Yep, yeah. that's the bell dog. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the bell dog. That's that's some some deep web Pizzagate shit. <laughs> like, like Seriously. That's a, that, that's a sign. It uh, really wasn't okay. He climbed in Zach's window and brought pizza because the boys <laughs> broke up with their girlfriends and he wanted to hang out. <laughs> this is all literally true. Was I've this, lied about Mr. other Belding things. Was grooming Zach? Oh, yeah. He's okay. obsessed with him. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very sad because he's too old. Yeah. <laughs> he's you know, that's not the reason bald, it's yeah. sad. <laughs> but it, it's just, uh, I, I meant Zach was. I just feel like it's a weird, you know... Like, boy, I just, that really sounded like I was saying the sad part was it wouldn't work. And I'm not. I, I, don't, I don't think that's the sad part. I think the sad part is that sexually grooming a child is bad. Right. But uh, it's the hey, weird part. Hey, can, 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 you put, can you take a little bit less, put a little bit less weight on that butt? <laughs> that's what Mr. Belding asked Zach. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that chair's looking like it's going to break. I got a perfectly good lap. You look like a guy who likes a good lap. It's all warm from pizza. I got pizza lap. <laughs> Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm sure I don't, Mr. Principal. Now I'm going to go skateboard down to the mall. <laughs> you two tickets. get free time and get as far away from you as possible. <laughs> well, that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I want to see. Or just freeze time and then like just tap Mr. Belding's head. And then because of relativity, his skull just collapses like an uh, egg. <laughs> or yeah. if he liked him, he could freeze time until he was of age, and then they could consummate <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
<laughs> just, just going on a sojourn or just a, just around the frozen world for 30 years we can finally be together it's finally right <laughs> Just him reading books, like you know, just like oh, that's incredible. And working out, he wants to keep tight for the bell dog. Yeah, yeah, it's it, that's yeah. the dynamic they have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's that's something. I don't know if that's like a twine game or that's a a short story or what that is, but it's something. Let's, let's write I that. Yeah, put yeah, it in canon. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be amazing. Uh, like fan fiction for that show. Yeah sophisticated like it just like you know uh being on the forums and being like uh this fan fiction you have seems very interesting um you're like yeah have you seen primer um okay i'm gonna need you to watch primer <laughs> the, uh, uh and then maybe you'll get it yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. i like to cut that's a mashup between primer and apt pupil um, <laughs> throw a little bit of interstellar in there mr building's in his office yeah, and, and a book flies off the shelf oh, that's weird yeah. Oh, that's weird. I wonder what Zach's up to. Um, <laughs> that is all Mr. Belding ever thinks. Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah. uh, Mr. Belding, like a lot of administrators, uh, that you know, the the thing that makes him interesting is that there is a, a core of sadness, right? He wants <laughs> he, to the the distance that he feels between himself and his charges. Uh, it's a you know, it, it is a cause for concern. He wishes that he could connect with them on a more human level because he spends so much time around them. You know, not necessarily mm-hmm. in a grooming kind of way, but like you know, him bringing pizza to a down and out friend. There's, there's a certain tragedy to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it, it's like when uh, when uh, Seymour Skinner Skinner gets fired. Yes, you know, and makes friends with Bart. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah, that's kind of sweet. It's weird that he decided to do it like. Um, uh, that guy who brought Clarissa explains it all pizza. Mm, Sam. You know? Sam. It's weird that he decided to do it like Sam. Like I don't have you, if, if any, anybody in this call ever had someone climb up into a bedroom window, because I bet not. I've had them climb out of a bedroom window. Okay. That's yeah. pretty was, cool. That's very movie. It was ground floor. So, you know, it's just oh, climbing yeah. out of a window, not like a tree. Yeah. But still pretty cool. Yeah. 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 You know, well, we get, get the fuck out of here. Cause my mom's coming in. Go. Yeah, yeah. It's like a shaggy situation as opposed to a, a Clarissa explains it all situation. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No. When, when I when I was in college, my my bedroom was on the was on the first floor off of the porch, and people would come in through the through the window there. But that was more mm. that was more an act of drunken convenience uh, <laughs> because they locked they 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 locked themselves on the porch. They they needed to get in through the through the window. So. So I'm the weird one. I'm the weird one on this call. Yeah, I, guess. I was expecting that. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I, th- I think that your world is very small, Gary. I think that you haven't explored all the, <laughs> all the architectural possibilities. I'm gonna go on Craigslist and see if anyone has a window I can rent <laughs> for, for crawling purposes. <laughs> you know, I'm a, un, like I'm looking for an apartment now. I'm gonna uncheck the door box mm. on, on the search. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm door agnostic. All of a sudden, like. Just can, you know. I, can I be restricted to window privileges only? <laughs> L- yeah. Looking for a Sam slash Clarissa arrangements. <laughs> Please ask me further questions. Have you seen Primer? <laughs> the, um, <laughs> I'll explain it. Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, I think that I accept. So I recently watched a cartoon. Uh, that is a contemporary of this kind of aesthetic, which is the Rude Dog cartoon. Oh, I love Rude Dog and the Dweebs, yeah. And the Dweebs, yes, you, yeah. you know the Dweebs. Uh, the um, and I just I think uh, so you know how the Rude Dog and the Dweebs. If you've seen that cartoon, like they, they definitely it's mostly about them working like a job. You know, <laughs> is like it? They, they, yes, <laughs> Rude Dog owns and operates a small business where he delivers something. Wow. I don't think they ever say what it is. What? And he's got he's got a it's true like he's got a series of Dweebs. Who yeah. work for him, and they're all kind of like a miscellaneous idiots, and he just tries to keep the business running while the dweebs get into trouble. Uh, at least in the the two episodes I watched, that was the premise of both of them. <laughs> I just but kind I, of I, remember the visuals, like those illustrations and like the pink and green triangle oh, yeah. spots for the dog. I think that's most of it. Is it? He must deliver triangles. Yeah, he, he just delivers parts of the set to Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yes. Um, exclusively. The, um, but it's just the, the, I mean, that makes sense to me with my understanding of cats and dogs in this weird metafictional way where like, that makes sense to me for dogs. Cats though, like being a stray cat, Scott, you know, uh, the, the Cadillac cats being a rockin' cat, like this just makes sense to me. 
like cats are inherently like this weird mid century, you know, kind of like crime adjacent dance fan. <laughs> you know, is that <laughs> yeah. weird? I, I think I think there, there there definitely is. You know, to, to a cat set free, there's a more there's a more apparent sense of violence and danger to it because they are mm-hmm. obligate carnivores and they, they they are on the hunt and they do you mm-hmm. know tend after to, you. <laughs> they, they, they do tend to like hang out together in very very like loose association like they're a bunch yeah. of cats but they're not necessarily pack animals they're all kind of in it for themselves you know yeah yeah so yeah. So, so i think that the, 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 there definitely is uh kind of kind of a, uh there's less distance to go between those two concepts right yeah right yeah that but, makes a lot of sense yeah. The most, I think cats are more more adjacent to crime in general. Yeah, and, <laughs> so, and the, cat burglar. The, the 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 one thing that like really sticks out to me. I, I don't know if I've told this story, but just the the most remarkable thing I ever saw a cat do was sitting on the front porch again. That same house. Nobody was going in and out of the window, reading or whatever. And I hear these you know, just there were starlings nested up on the roof, and I hate, hate starlings. Love birds. <laughs> starlings are garbage. Garbage birds. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and we had, had a bunch of stray cats because it was like a college neighborhood, lots of food around, etc. And I'm just looking down and I see a cat just like staring up into the air and he just I'm just big payday. Okay. It, yeah, yeah, no cat, cat was looking for a big, big payday. He was just waiting there tense, like ready to go. And I'm like, I'm just going to watch this cat because he's seeing something I'm not seeing. And then just like <laughs> out of nowhere, a flurry of activity. Like, I don't know. I don't know how high he jumped to get this, but he just like calculated the trajectory, grabbed a starling by the wing. And then I just watched him run up the street with this struggling bird in his mouth. Oh, I'm like, I respect that animal so much. Yeah. Good, good boy. Did you consider that maybe you warged into him for a second <laughs> and he, he, he was enacting your desires specifically? I think so. I, th- I think that maybe he, I think he's, he sensed that there was a need that he could meet. Mm-hmm. That need was for fewer starlings. Yeah. yeah, Fewer starlings by any means necessary. <laughs> he sensed a bird that he could eat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and good, good on him. Yeah. 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 And yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> you, so you, make uh, a cartoon of that. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, coal mine controlling cats <laughs> to, know? uh, to kill <laughs> animals. The cartoon. Yeah. Like, 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 not even like a, like sub Richard Bachman premise for Stephen King novel. Like, whatever is less than Richard Bachman. So, just Stephen King today, basically. Yeah. Yeah, Because there's a sandwich. It goes Stephen King, then Richard Bachman, and then Stephen King. Again, Uh, yeah. uh, And then I'm just imagining, like, opening scene in, like, some truck stop, and some grizzled man is having a discussion, you know, and that turns out later to be Cole. He's having a discussion (laughs) with, like, a kid who's, like, maybe not his daughter, but who knows, maybe is. Uh And they're on the run from government agents or something like that. And then, like, floodlights through the window, and then, like, you get a nosebleed, and a bunch of birds come, or a bunch (laughs) of cats come, and eat the birds that are in the background, and then the police come in and gun you down because it's unrelated. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> because yeah. of, like tax evasion or something yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, like, cats yeah. would be good at tax evasion Ooh, oh yeah. my goodness they have, I, my cat when i had a cat he never paid taxes <laughs> See? he evaded that shit to the grave <laughs> i tried yeah. to give him taxes he just pushed him off the table yeah. <laughs> my cat had a firm understanding that taxes aren't real because death is real so. um... yeah. you you uh you have dogs right carolyn yeah, uh, I have several pug dogs, one of whom barked a little earlier in recording. <laughs> it's great. People love it when that happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It always she... seems like it's going to be a bad thing, but people are just like, yeah, dog. <laughs> so. It's dinner time after the podcast, so right now the stakes are very high, if you will. Ooh. <laughs> if I move too much, the whole barking parade gets started, or tries uh, to get started. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The, um, yeah, I, I keep, I've, I've thought about a pug. I'm thinking about moving into a place and switching to a, a dog based paradigm, mm. like a, like a dog life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm suited for it because I work from home so I could walk them shits right. whenever yeah, I needed to, you know? That's the thing. I had yeah. cats as a kid when I rented rocking cats and now I'm a, I have a dog. And <laughs> Why I can't you rock like them? <laughs> I know. I try. I try to rock and roll like the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Cool for cats. <laughs> but, yeah, now I'm committed to dogs because P- Pompinette, the pug lady, is mm. the one I've had my whole her whole life, and she wants to probably eat a cat. She doesn't like them, <laughs> so 
Mm. So you get to choose. Like that would be yeah. like if you had a a toddler and then you also got like a pet uh a ding dong cake. No, well, yeah, I guess I guess that's true too. Or if you had a pet bear and then you had a kid. And then a <laughs> cake. A, yeah, also. and then the kid you also had then that kid had a cake. <laughs> and all three of them had to cross a river. Right. And right, you can only have room grain. for two of them at once. You know? Right? So how could you do it? <laughs> Yeah, and, and pugs don't know that how vulnerable they are. They think they're a top dog, and they're top, but they're not that top. And they have mm. these bulging eyes on the side of their heads, and one good rocking cat punch glove, and mm. that shit's gone. <laughs> oh, it's the great, the greatest fear. There's the eyes, right? po- eyes yeah. pop out like novelty glasses. Yes, yeah. they do. They Ooh. do. Yeah. That happens. Has, has that happened? <laughs> not to me, but oh, okay. to certain, a lot of people. Yeah. The thing is, yeah. if your pug's eye comes out, you just put it back in as fast as you can. <laughs> I. Yeah, I I, uh, I had a Lyft driver once who was somebody who was starting a small business where it was just to watch pugs oh, because wow. they have special needs. Uh-huh. Sure. And essentially, and I was like, I the, the conversation went like this. He told me that was his idea. I said, <laughs> oh, like you think you'll get more business because you can reassure people that if their pug's eyes pop out, you can fix it. And he said, yes. And then we drove, <laughs> and, and that was, was really that was really it. Like, it was just such a weird thing to say that I was like, "Yeah, that's it." Actually, <laughs> I want to assure people that if my their cats, if their their pets' eyes pop out, I know what to do, yeah. as opposed to just like scream. You yeah. know, see that's you scream thing. internally. Yeah, <laughs> I never stop screaming. Yeah, <laughs> but, but but externally, you get out like a, a piece of microfiber cloth. <laughs> you know, you rub that bad boy off, and then you just uh, you know. But in reverse. That like, is the exact noise when you know it's in good. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm glad that I hope that never happens to you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, so far, yeah. so good. They're all old timers now. So most mm. of the um, biggest hijinks are mm. okay. Oh, Calm mm. down. Almost home clear. Yeah. No. The, uh, yeah, and and uh, if it does happen, yeah, you know, do have you have you thought about what do you do? You, are, are you prepared? Is there a kit I that mean, you have? No, no, yeah. I'm just gonna take my gross hand. I'm gonna put it on their gross eye. I'm just gonna <laughs> shove the wet orb into the wet hole. Sure, sure. I'm I'm like mentally prepared in a way, but beyond that plan, you know, that very simple cave person level plan. That's. <laughs> Do 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 do, do uh, you think it like 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 it would unlock abilities in you? Do you think it'd be like if your kid got caught under a car, you know, like you like you, like you see yeah. happening, like just the, the 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 eye comes out and then all of a sudden you just you tap into something that you had no idea was there. Right, right. In any pet emergency situation, you get that oh shit mm. moment mm-hmm, where the air yeah. gets still and electric, and then your brain is like, oh no, certainly this can't be happening. Because yeah, I don't mm-hmm. want it to. Oh no. Yeah, and you yeah. bypass that and take action. Yeah, I haven't been the primary owner of a, over a, uh, of a pet in a while, but m- oh. from from what I have seen, most of the emergencies that somebody responds to is noticing that the animal is about to vomit and then picking the animal up and rushing him to a place where it might be less disastrous if they vomited there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also yeah. for diarrhea. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's that's real rough because that that's we- like vomit like. At least as yeah. a cat owner, I've learned that, like, vomit's not really a big deal. <laughs> like, a, a lot of times it's just cat food. Right. <laughs> you, know, you, you know? But but <laughs> diarrhea becomes a transformative act. Right. Right. You know? <laughs> it's, it's not a... There's no, there's no uh, you know, there's no putting that sausage back in the... You know, the pig back in the groin. Yeah. It's... it's, it's yeah. It's, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Nunca. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that's the uh managing that stuff is is really a thing. And that's the thing I think about the rocking cats too, where like they party, <laughs> right? I think oh, they yeah. party. Yeah, they party that they have like debaucherous lifestyles, they're looking each other up and down. Like that kind of that kind of <laughs> stuff has to happen. And just imagining like, you know, one of these rocking cats walks on by, uh it looks like it's gonna puke. I like pick it up and put it in a bathroom. Is it grateful? Because it, it was a selfish act, but like, are they, yeah, you know, I, I like know. to puke in a bathroom if I can help it. Yeah, that's are you that... picking him up off the street and into a public bathroom? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's like an Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if, like if you you pick up the rocking cat, you take him into an Arby's uh, uh, ba- re- restroom. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you hold back its hair. You take off its hat so it doesn't fall. You know, you, 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 you let him get the poison out. You loosen you, his tie. Yeah, you, you, you loosen his tie. Throw it back over the shoulder. You you you, you, you grab some paper towels you get them wet and then you just kind of like dab off the corners of his mouth and then you go out mm-hmm. you get him a, a, a small sprite 
and a courtesy <laughs> cup uh, so he can get his uh, get his energy back up and then make sure he has he has his equilibrium and then you send him on his way with a cheesy beef and cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> and then in like a week, any any one of my enemies ends up dead. <laughs> you know, <laughs> in, in a week he, the favor hooks, is repaid because he hooks up with Cole, the cat commander, <laughs> and gets the logistics necessary to pay back your debt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, because the, the rocking cats have no debts, no standing debts. Right. They don't acknowledge debt or finances. Mm-mm. Mm, no, but, no, but, no. Wait, he does collect money. <laughs> yeah, he actually he's very mercantile. Yes, so, yeah, so he's but... probably got student loans. Like it's not, it's, it's a thing. <laughs> the, um, like he's this this guy like dropped out of advertising. <laughs> yeah, major. Did you guys go to the shop level and spend money? I yeah 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 definitely like bought a bought a power up. I bought like or... a hammer claw, but I don't think it ended up. Uh, I didn't see it later when I was punching guys. I don't know. You, I think you have to activate it. I think it might be like select, but I think it might be one of those things where it doesn't bring up a menu. You cycle through. Mm. Yeah, shit. I pressed um, a button several, yeah. and then I stopped. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's not intuitive. I, right. I did like the shopkeep cat, though. He was like in a tank top. Yeah, it's the like it's the, the his uh his like sidekick guy. Who's, it's like um how the Punisher hangs out with that guy named Microchip. Um, did you guys know that the Punisher's best friend is a guy named Microchip? No. Mm, it's mm. true. I try <laughs> to skip better up. things related I to the Punisher. I believe you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, I might I might be out of Rocking Cat information. Me too. <laughs> do we have any final Rocking Cat thoughts? Um, cats rock. They do. <laughs> Especially Socks, the Rockin' Cat. Did you oh. did you guys see that 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 the game came out? They found a prototype of, of that yeah. game that's like all oh, playable. Shit. So didn't what? it get like shut down or like the budget mm-hmm. was weird or Clinton got mad or something? The Clinton the Clinton got mad, that's what happened. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Clinton. I think I think Clinton would not have it. I I um, need to I need to hear more of this. This this is cats with presidents? What the what in the world is oh, going on? I I so, uh, let, Put a pin in that idea because cast of presidents is a good idea uh, because the way that – it makes them sound like citizens, like they're a constituent. Right. But this this was a game based on the famous cat owned by uh, Bill Clinton. Okay. Socks the cat who is their tuxedo cat. Most presidents have dogs. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, the Clintons got a cat because they were – it was like a new deal. They were young and had like different energy and they had a cat named Socks, Socks the Cat. And there's a Super Nintendo game. Socks, uh, the, Socks cat the Cat rocks the hill. Yeah. Uh, that's Capitol Hill. And he he fights like Nixon and shit. Huh. Oh man! Yeah. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> we we gotta do that at some point. We gotta fast track that that to the show now. That's playable. Goal. Yeah, I had no idea that was a thing. So we need more cats in politics. <laughs> One hundred percent things right. Yeah. Or cats. that's a terrible idea. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the resistance. <laughs> the, um, the, uh, yeah, I, I'm a. Uh, I, I think that would we it couldn't be you know like it couldn't be worse. And I say that with the cadence <laughs> of like a hackneyed thing to say, but then also like I think it's kind of true. Sure, uh, yeah. It'd just be like nothing for four years and like you know, <laughs> maybe all right. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Just moves us forward in four four years in time, and like a lot of people, you know, like government people lose their job, and that sucks. But also like you know, there's no child prisons. <laughs> So, yeah. And more jobs yeah. for cats. All your lazy house cats will like do something with their day and mm. do some crimes. And get <laughs> in life. Yeah. Aspirational. One day you could grow up to be president. <laughs> As opposed to like right now where it's like one day you can grow up to be like an incredibly sad month for me. Oh. Uh, and then, <laughs> like, about, yeah. Well, it tops out as, you know, that's, yeah. that's so. Oh. Too real. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to, I was going to, I had a, a brief impulse to be like, to Google, is Socks the Cat dead? I'm so like, sure. Oh, yeah. 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 It's been 30 <laughs> it's like years, 19... man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't remind me how long it's been since the Clinton uh, administration. Clinton. <laughs> Clinton. Clinton's. Um, yeah, Socks the Cat passed, unfortunately. He, uh, he, he, but but Slipper's the kitten. <laughs> Did they get the saxophone in the game? That was a big thing. Yeah, the the title screen is Bill Clinton, like a cartoon Bill Clinton playing sax hmm. yeah. next to next to the socks. Yeah, it's it's very like it's very of its time. It was a simpler time. Yeah, you, you, it doesn't sound be... like it, but it was <laughs> like 
<laughs> You'll be happy to know that Socks lived to uh, the ripe old age of nineteen, which is a long and I oh, presume goodness uh, a yeah, long and I man. presume um, uh, a happy life for that cat. So yeah. there is the no tragedy. News, there. Yeah. Well, the bad news is that Socks ended up being a Republican at fifteen. Oh. <laughs> it's like a, it was like a Michael J. Fox, <laughs> like Alex B. <laughs> Keaton kind of situation. <laughs> This precocious little shit thinks he's rebelling. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know that uh, republicanism is the new punk rock? <laughs> the, um, the, the the actual reason why the cat lived that long is because of the wealth of its owners. Uh, yeah. So regardless sure. of the political affiliation, like, yeah, I bet you most people, like most wealthy people who own pets and care about them, like, they live that long. Yeah. You know, because, you know, life's not fair. Wealth no. disparity is bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, we learned a lot today. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Um, Carolyn. Yeah. Where can people find you on the internet? You can find me a couple of places. You can follow my tweets and my social media. I'm Carolyn Main on Twitter, on Facebook. That's C-A-R-O-L-Y-N-M-A-I-N, like the street. You can listen mm-hmm. to my other podcasts, including a very special episode and pitch, please, on the River City Podcast Federation and iTunes and Podbean and Stitcher, some of them. And do check out the game Pitch Please. You can buy your own copy on pitchplease.fun and get some friends to play with you, including Gary, who needs a buddy. I <laughs> too too real. <laughs> um, <laughs> too real. Hold up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh yeah. I, I'm happy to support the project, and it looks very cool. Oh, uh, I you. just uh, I uh, yeah. This is my my buddies. These like, like, like improv games. You know, all the games we play have mats. Right? That's mm-hmm. the like, thing. You, yeah, we, we move little guys around on mats. Tell so. them there's a winner, right? They I, like I, winning? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I should, I should, I'll tell them that it's actually extremely tactical and I'll just, like, every time they come up with an idea, I'll roll dice behind a screen. Oh, yeah, great, great. The and just yeah, pull I, them. There is the yeah. angle where you get to, um, so one person plays producer and two people pitch, right? So the pitchers mm-hmm. have to kind of seduce the producer with ideas. So say, Gary, if I'm pitching to you, I know that you want to see some cats do crimes, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very relevant to my interests. Yes. Got to make it real yeah. Gary-ish and get that money, and then you win. So it is strategic. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is. It is. It is very strategic. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, oh. everyone. Everyone should, uh, should should check out. You're very funny on Twitter as well. Oh, as thank a, you. A pro, pro pro Twitter follow. Yeah. I, 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 am, I, I am not actively being a shill, but this is the truth. I am at the checkout screen for um, uh, oh. Pitch Please right now because this sounds oh, like a lot of fun. Shit. So I'm, it is so wow. fun. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Get that in the mail uh, this week. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's awesome. Um, if you like uh, the, these other idiots, uh, me, <laughs> me and Cole, yeah. um, you, the best thing to do is go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and, uh, and kick us a couple bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then ratings and reviews for all of the podcasts mentioned on today's show. Yeah. Just, just to take, five, take, stars. take, take, take yeah, five, five minutes and make at least three people's days. Yeah, at the, yeah, you should you should end your your iTunes session twenty five stars poorer, but twenty five <laughs> hearts richer. You know, and he wept for there there were no more stars to give. Yes, <laughs> that's capitalism. <laughs> cat capitalism. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, cat capitalism is is just barely like. Like, <laughs> sticks in the mouth a little bit too much to be, like, right. a, a good thing, but, like, a good, like, product, but it's very good. <laughs> it's a nice, awkward pun, which is yes. my favorite. <laughs> Capitalism. Um, yeah. <laughs> it works very well. Um, <laughs> and uh, in, until next time, who is Cat Dog? sure we've done that before uh, but, but it works yeah <laughs> yay yay yay